basically, it was an intro class, so we went over a lot of the basics, just like what is a pendulum, and then from the ground up. So a pendulum is essentially a move where the poi changes direction, um, and it doesn't create a full circle. So this isn't a pendulum, but this is. And the key to a pendulum, to the key to making a pendulum look sharp, is to have the extension go all the way out to the horizontal. And that was the key focus that we tried to emphasize, but obviously that's just what you aim for when you practice. Um, we went over the few basics for running the pendulum. There's the, the half extension, which is this move right here, where you keep your arm extended and the boy just kind of follows through. There's the full extension, where you move your hand in the entire circle, and the boy makes. Uh, it's still pendulum, so it never goes vertical. It always stays horizontal or the angle that the point court makes is always horizontal or below the horizon. And then there's the point pendulum where your hand isn't moving at all. And naturally there are variations of this where the hand does make smaller circles or the hand uh, moves while you're penduluming, but we didn't go into that much detail on those ways. So when you have pendulums that you can do with one hand, you can do it with both hands. And we covered a variety of ways that you could incorporate that, such as like the butterfly um, pendulums with two-hand extension, or just uh, with the point pendulums, or with flowers, where you can see the extensions. Um, the extensions are hard for you, that you can curl your elbows in a little bit uh, to still get the pendulum effect. And you can try to just draw a straight line along the top of the pendulums and keep them horizontal as you can to get the full effect. Um, we also went over just combining the pendulums with your hands together or trying to keep your hands staggered a little bit apart so that the head meets the handle of the boy because that creates the stacking illusion. And we also talked about trying to split your hands up to change the poor direction so you can go from pendulum, you can switch the poor direction to extra pendulum by changing your hand movement and just working that extra pendulum in, which goes into time changes, which are important use of incorporating pendulums into just your general flow or how you spin. The pendulum is really good for changing the poise direction, whether or not you're intending to repeat the pendulum over and over again, or if you want to incorporate it into a weave and then just pendulum, either with one pulley or both. So that gives you the flexibility to change direction and also slow down your speeds, and it makes turning easier. We talked about how to turn with pendulums, you can simply just uh, either swing them both on the same side of your body, or if you have them in the butterfly, you could turn while they were all the way out. Um, it's just, it's similar to how you turn with reels, but it's a little bit easier because the boy are moving slower and you have more control over them because you're not spinning them around in a circle and you don't have to worry about the boy's movement when it's up at the top. We also then went into a few more uh, trickier moves, like the 1.5 beats, which is similar to the 2B weave, only you do one rotation, one full rotation on your left, and a half rotation, well, a full rotation on the opposite side of your body, and then a half rotation or a pendulum on the side of your body that your hand is holding the coin. And so you repeat that with either side, and you try and keep the heads together, and it creates a really nice effect. You can also play with this by keeping your hands together instead of the heads. Um, or try and go hand to hand. We talked about that a little bit. We didn't put focus on it. But you can also do it in reverse if that's comfortable for you. And naturally, you want to try it with both hands in both directions. You want to keep. Um, you, have to, you can even turn with it and just kind of play around with how that works. We talked a little bit about behind the head uh, illusions with the pendulums. And what you can play with them, you can incorporate them into your turns, and you can incorporate them into just swing the point around. Um, turn, or you can just not turn and use them as a nice effect, a little break in your usual routine. And if you want to get really fancy, you can even try doing 1.5 with using behind the head. And this is kind of where we ended the class talking about uh, this move, which is a little 
lot farther than I thought I'd get, but this is a 1.5, only done on the opposite sides of the body and behind the head. So instead of going on the opposite side of full rotation and on the same side of half rotation, we actually go a full rotation on the same side and then a half rotation on the other side behind the head. That gives us this. That's where we ended. Uh, and thanks.